Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders and other companies. There's links below this video. When you click on them and place an order, I do receive a small commission that's at no cost to you. I sure do appreciate you supporting my YouTube channel. Um, so, this is new from Spellbinders. I got so excited when I saw this because I love embossing folders, but to cut and emboss at the same time I just am crazy about that. I think we're going to have so much fun um, in this video with this. I do not have the card made. It's just off the top of my head. Again, uh, one of these, let, let's just create. Um, so let's go ahead and see. This is called Mushrooms from Me to You. And this is a 3D embossing folder. The way we know that is it says E3D right here. And it's also a cut embossing folder. So it comes with dies with the embossing folder. Isn't that fun? It, pair, it will pair with uh, and other uh, um, dies, you know, in any kind of shape really that you want to make. But these are the scallop labels and tags. And I've already got a couple cut here. I used not the largest one, but the other two. So if you're counting from the outside, the two and the three right there. And I just cut them out of two shades of like um, a coral color, and I'm using a gray base, a dark gray base. So with the dark gray base, I did cut a piece of white cardstock to go on the inside for a sentiment. Let's go ahead and um, glue that down right now so that I don't forget. So I think I made this, um, what did I make this? What layer is this? Three... Four and three quarter by three and a half is what I made this inside piece. And that'll just give us a nice white area to write a sentiment. Or you could stamp or, you know, whatever that you want to do right there. So there's that. Okay. Now this piece is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I like a side fold card, although anything here would fit with a top fold card. And that's 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. Every time I cut one, I'm like, oh, I should have done the top fold. And um, I just automatically cut them like this. But now I have done another card in the video, but I had so much fun cutting these out. I'm in the middle of watercoloring this one. And then here's the tag. And these are all in white. And this is all on watercolor paper so that I can, I don't think this is watercolor, but this is watercolor paper so that I can watercolor some of them. And then of course make a really cute little tag. But I was watercoloring, you know, and some people just don't like the tediousness of that. I happen to love it because um, if I find it very relaxing, some people do find it tedious. Um, so I was watching other videos about what to do with this set and uh, here's what I came up with uh, up in my head I wasn't like I said I don't even have everything completed so I want to definitely layer these up like this my color um, cardstock let's go ahead and put that together these are pretty scallops right Nice and big. I like that. Fun. Just another different shape. Like I have arches. I have hexagon shapes. I've got scallop shapes. I have postage stamp shapes. And this is just another great shape. This also would be great to put like this on a card. Cut that off. And just have, you know, something like that and do some flowers or something like that on it. I, You know, I've just been kind of enjoying this shape. Now I'm going to add this to the front of my card. Just like that. I have my wax seal over here. I'm kind of in the mood to do a wax seal, but I don't know if it will take away from this, but I so I'm not sure. This is the uh, this is adorable. Look at those mushrooms, forest mushrooms right here. I did one right here. Isn't that pretty? And I did that in the teal and the gold, which really doesn't go with this. We would have to make another another one of another color because um, I was just playing in the craft room. So let's go ahead and bring in the um, Platinum 6. And we'll need the sandwich for the 3D embossing folder, right? 
So let me take these out. And most of your die cutting machines have like the directions for the sandwiches. So we need platform A, the embossing folder, and then D. Let me get my D plate. So I don't even need this one right here. But this is what is for the Platinum 6. Okay, so let's talk about this. Now, oh, how much fun. I just let, well, actually, here, let me move this out of the way just a second. Okay, we talked about the sandwich. Okay, let's talk about this now. And then we'll move it in. So here's the embossing folder. And remember, here's where the, it's Spellbinders logo and the number for it. All right, that's important. Let's open this up. And I just want to do this one piece. I could do the others, but I have so many of the others. But I just wanted to do this one piece. So you take your cutting die right here, and it's going to, you'll feel it. It will slip into place, okay? It's not going to move. I'm going to take my paper, and I'm going to place that over top. And then I'm going to close this, okay? All right, now it's going to cut and emboss at the same time, okay? So let me bring the Platinum 6 back in, right here, and let me take this out, and let's put this in this way. Actually, everybody keeps saying to put in the um, this side first where it's closed, but see where I see my picture here, my picture is open toward that side. I don't know. So we just go this way. And I'm going to put my D plate over top, and we're going to run this through, just like that. Let's see what we get. I get so excited when there's something brand new, and we can have fun. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. Okay, so let's remember this, okay? Where the logo is, the Spellbinders logo, let's go over this again. You put the cut side up. See where I have the cut side? And it's gonna slip right in there and it's not gonna move. It's almost like it's uh, in like a little groove. And then you put your paper on top. Let's pretend that's a full sheet, okay? And you could use the entire embossing folder and then run it through and look what we get. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I love it. So that's how this works. It's very simple. And I'm just going to add that, put that right there. Put this away and this away here. Okay. And I'll put my scallop tags back in my little folder here that I have. Because I'll keep these for the shapes. Move that over. Now, what are we going to do? I think yellow would be pretty. Should I add? No, I don't want to add a little pink because we have coral. I think just some yellow. So I'm just going to use my sweet corn. And um, this is a uh, lemon drop and wild dandelion from Gina K. Use any color that you want. If you have different colors on here, you know, you might want to use something else. I wouldn't, I'm not going to go with a blue or green. Um, sorry. I forgot to turn my phone off. And um, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. And I want to do a gradual. I want to go, um, let's do dark on the top to light on the bottom. So let's start with wild dandelion. You know what, let me just, um, well, I was going to get a piece of paper. It doesn't matter. Let's just start with some wild dandelion here. And instead of doing, you know, the watercoloring, you can just go ahead and make this just as pretty as can be with blending. Because I know a lot of people are looking at this going, wow, that's all that can be done there is to color it. But no, you can't. There's more to be done with this. So pretty. Looks like sunshine. Let's go to sweet corn.
then we'll go to Lemon Drop, which is the lightest. So I've gone from dark to light. That's why, too, that I'm using the same brush. And I'll just spin that around. I have something to hold on to. Now, of course, over top of this, you could do some ink blending, you know, with smaller brushes and make the little stumps a little colorful if you wanted to. But I'm leaving this all yellow. That is so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Just my thought. Let me clean this. Now, here. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to use this one, but wouldn't a wax seal look fantastic right there? Maybe a little twine. Hold on. Let me find some. Remember, it's create on the fly, okay? <laughs> so let's just see what we have here. I have just some twine. And I swear, whenever I do this on camera, it never comes out right. But as soon as I turn the camera off, it's like, oh, yeah, I've got it. So I try to wrap it three times and make a bow. But you know how it is when you're filming, or how it is at least for me. There we go. I'll go ahead and cut that out there. And you can use ribbon. You can use, you could even put a piece of vellum here if you wanted to. Wrap it around a little thin piece of vellum just for that um, wax seal to land on. I'm going to put a bow over here. Make sure that I have this tight enough so it's not floppy. Okay, yeah, I think maybe I have it, right? Yes, well, that's a first. Okay, kind of just like that. I like to spread these out. There's my little bow down there. Let's cut these tails off that let those go wild right just like mushrooms grow wild I don't know if I like that bow see I get really critical oh. maybe if I put a little glue right there a little dot let me do that just to hold it where I want it right just to hold it where I want it You just sit right there. There we go. Okay. And then here. And then if we make a wax seal. Oh my goodness. We have to do a wax seal. We just have to. Okay. Be right back. Let me set it up. Okay. So I've set my wax seal up. Here are the gold um, beads, the wax beads that came with the kit. My wonderful friend Jeanette sent me this kit as a gift. And I really, really appreciate it. The Spellbinders kit of Wax Seal. And I'm just excited about it. I love to wax seal. I think it's just so much fun. Let me open this without spilling things all over the place. Okay. And then, um, oh, I wanted to show you while that's getting hot. I wanted This was a card that I made. And I did the watercoloring here with the mushroom and the little tag. And I put a bow up here. Isn't that cute? And then here's another set of dies that are just released and this is the fresh pick labels and tags so the, these are more shapes shapes are fantastic for a background of card so I just wanted to show that to you I don't know when this video is releasing or if it already has released or 
left, whatever. But um, but yeah, that's what I did there. Um, so let's see. Let's put some gold in here. And I'm just thinking about, let's put three of those in there. And let's see. Hmm. I don't really have like a coral color, but I do have some yellow. Let's just do it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I've got some yellow and gold in there, and I'm just going to let that melt. And we're going to use this beautiful seal right here. I love Spellbinders wax seals. They are definitely superior. I love the way they're weighted. They feel good. And this is an oval one. Look how cute that is. That mushroom is adorable. I think I've made a bunch here, actually, or a few. Yes, I did. See, I told you I was playing. Look at this pretty one with the gold and the pink. Ooh, that looks pretty, right? I'm just looking at color. No, I don't like the pink. That actually doesn't look too bad with the green and the gold. We'll see how this comes out. But look at these. I haven't colored them yet. I want to do some gold on them. I even did the hello here. I've done a bunch of these. I've just had fun with wax seals. Oh, here's another pink one. Let's see. Here's more pink and gold. But I was just in here one day and I just felt like playing without turning the camera on, just playing with the wax seals. And that's exactly what I did. Oh. Okay, so here is my a little um, mixture there melting. I like, to use, I like to use these little toothpicks. I just put them in a bag. You can use anything you want because you can wipe it off. But then I just throw this away. Oh, I forgot to get some paper towels. But hey, it's too late for that. So, so let me just make sure. Oh, I need to get that nice and melted. So we're going to have a lot of gold in here with just a little bit of yellow. And I think it's going to look really pretty. But like sometimes with the oval, you know, you got to kind of move your wax just a little bit. So let's see. I, I am new at this. But I'm getting better. Now I've realized not to stir, okay, when I do something like this, because I want the color to have, you know, the different colors in it. So I think that's going to be pretty. All right, let's see how we do with this. So when I pour this, I'm kind of going just up and down. Look at that. That just looks fun. And I'll just kind of scrape out my little spoon there a little bit. Let's hope for the best. I'll put that right there. And it doesn't really matter how my mushrooms are because it's going to be fine. I'm just going to put this in here. I think, ah, I'm short over on this side. Oh, nope. That's not going to be good. Okay, let's go ahead and melt it again. See, I told you, I'm new at it, so... Just let, but I like the color. Now I won't let that go to waste. I will, I'm actually going to put an extra yellow one in here because I should have really had a little bit more wax or moved over with my, um, with my wax seal right here. It's not ready yet. We're going to let that melt. Yeah, see, see where I was short right there? But look at that. That's a pretty color with the gold and the yellow. And I think that's going to look fantastic on there. That's going to look great. But now, this is, to me, this is no good. So I would cut this up and put this in my little tray. And um, I'll use it again, in a, you know, I'll use the color another time. Because you can always re-melt wax seals. But right now... I want my color to be separated. I don't want it to all come together. But I will use this. I don't, you know, I'm not one to um, waste. So I'll put these in here. And, you know, we're just, we're learning together. Let me let that melt. I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I went and got some paper towels while this was melting too. That's got to melt a little bit more right in there. 
look at that gold kind of melt, you know, kind of come into there. Now back here, I'm going to use my foam adhesive strips, which I didn't realize how much I was going to crazy use these, but I do. And I'm so happy that I got more of them. I have a bit of a foam fetish going on over here. Um, if I showed you how many packs of foam I have, you would be like, okay, you're done. And But the other day I placed an order and I was like, well, let me just go ahead and add some foam. Just going to cut that, hopefully not cutting myself. I couldn't believe I did that. That hurt so bad. Okay, now I want to put one in the middle. And as you see, I'm holding down my rope also. Okay, so there's that. So we got that done while that's melting. But I definitely have more of this. I'll consolidate the pack. Okay, let's see how we do now. And like to me, wax seals are perfectly imperfect. I did bring my paper towels in. I used to wipe the bottom of it, right? And I should put this on first. Yes, now I have wax seal all the way around. Oh, that's wonderful. Let me blow this out. Okay. And let me wipe this out. Now be very careful when you do this. Stay, keep your hands holding the wooden handle. That is very, very hot. So you can let that kind of um, dry and then try to pick it out, but I find it best. They have some Teflon ones too that it, you know, the wax will just slide out of. But you know, understanding that with this technique, you do have a little bit of waste and that's normal. So I work today. There's a girl, I, if, uh, I don't know if I released that video either. I don't know, I get confused. I do so many videos and um, then I get kind of confused at what I tell you all. But, but anyway, um, I, uh, there, I am a, a dental assistant and the uh, office that I retired out of, I keep my license just for them so that when somebody is sick, I go in and help. So there is somebody who is sick and... Um, so I've been helping, so I worked today, and then I came home and kind of relaxed a little bit, and I was like, I want to get in there and craft. So this is what I came up with. Now that yellow color is, um, I'll, if uh, Spellbinders has a yellow, I'll link it for you in the description below, but that was from like Amazon. But this, of course, is all Spellbinders. Now, I don't want to touch it until it's absolutely cooled off. So, I'm just happy that my bow came out good. Right? Let's just scooch this over. Okay. And let's bring this in. Let's peel our foam off while that's just kind of cooling. But as you see, with something like this, especially when you add a lot of ink, this adhesive is fantastic to help flatten things out, make sure that nothing, you know, gets um, kind of what I call weak in the middle. You know, so it's these are nice pieces right here. All right. And I'm going to put this right here, lining up my scallops up there. Nice, just like that. Ooh. Okay, now let's see. What did they, they sent me some wonderful, absolutely wonderful gems right here. Of course, we have Crystal Mix, um, Peach Blush, Peridot, what else did they send? Smoky Topaz, hmm. Denim, and Orchid, which I'm not thrilled with any of those, to tell you the truth, for this. Well, I don't know. Wait a minute. No. Maybe not. Maybe nothing. I don't know if I want any um, bling on it, you know? Anything bright. Let's see what happens after I put the, um, the wax seal on. I think we're good. Yes. Let's lift. Look at that. This is so pretty, guys. 
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love those little mushrooms. They're so cute. There's a flower one also. Let me get my gold pen here. I'm, I'm going to have a disaster over There's so much stuff out right now. You know how it goes. And anything that's sticking up, I'm just going to color gold. See how that just accents it? So any of these little flowery shoots back here and their little stems. I'm going to get my mushrooms right here. Because we're kind of in a yellowish, goldish tone here. So I think we're good. Get my little stem here. Not to get any on the side, I'm holding my pen up. Hopefully that'll help. Let's see, I've got a little bit over here. So yes, I did. I worked today. It felt good. I felt good to see my friends, had fun, did good work. There we go. And I love it. But I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. And you know, sometimes when you get up early, you just have extra energy. I find that in me now. Oh, right over here, I missed a piece. But I don't have to be in tomorrow till 8.30, so. That's good. Oh yeah, we're going to have a spill. I know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm Like I tell you guys all the time, I'm a bull in a china shop. Look how cute. Look at how wonderful that is. Now, let's go ahead and place this right here. And I don't think, I think I am going to pop it up actually. Let's do it. So, let's see. Let's take this piece that's left. And let me just cut some. I'm going to leave my, I'm going to leave like a little uh, trough in the middle for my um, string there, my twine to show, you know, to go through. And we'll just do it like this. Oh, Jeanette, thank you so much for my spellbinders. wax seal kit. Oh, look at this, guys. Hey! Ah! That is so cute! I don't even have a sentiment on it. What are we going to use? Ah! What are we going to use? Um, let's see, what do I have here? Sending you a happy... It should say hello. That's from the hello stuff. Da, da, da. Let's see, what, what do we have here? Already made. Oh, yes. So here's some right here. There's a happy birthday. That's in blush though. I would want gold. Yay. <laughs> we could just do generic yay, right? I don't know about that. Let's see. There's congrats. I'd love a hello in gold. Do I have one? I bet I don't. Because I use, oh, here's a high. Well, that's in blush. I don't want that pinkish in there. I would want just gold. Oh, I got a gold one. Hi. How about that? Well, that's just cute. 
where should we put it? Up here. Let me look through my camera. Hi. Here. Oh, I think I like it right there. Okay, let's do that. Let me get some small. Now, the pack is not this full. I have a few packs in there. I say that all the time because I never know if I have somebody new watching and then be like, wow, look at all you get. You know, <laughs> can't be like, no, no, I just piled stuff up in there. Okay, let's go ahead and make a really thin one here. Whee! Right here. Okay. And I really want a little, little corner right on there. And you're like, oh my gosh, you're going to cut yourself. I know. There. Let's see how we get that right there. Come on, stick. There we go. Now, if anything is sticking out, I just give it a cut. There we go. H I hi. Whoop. And right here. And here is our cute little card, start to finish, and me just kind of going on the fly and having fun with the wax seal. That came out so stinking cute. The wax seal, the um, mushrooms from me to you, embossing folder with the cutting dies that comes together, and our scalloped labels and tags. All the links will be below for you if you would like to place an order for this product. I sure do appreciate it. And I absolutely love the way our card turned out. Again, you could put any sentiment that you want over here, any place that you want. You could lower this, put a sentiment up here, raise it up, put one down here, whatever you want to do. I think this came out really sweet and I was happy to make it with you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.